Hello friends. Uh, so today we are going to understand why and when the neural network would be used over the machine learning. Uh, I've seen many times that data scientists are confused about when to use the one neural network and when to use the machine learning. So uh, first of all, you need to plot your data set into a graph and see whether your data are linear or non-linear. So if the data is non-linear and the single class line or single best fitted line would not be able to classify your data set into two classes or a multiple classes, then uh, I would recommend to use the neural network. For example, if you see it over here, these are the data sets. Uh, so the orange data set corresponds to the one class and the blue data set corresponds to the another class. So if you see it closely over here, the single line would not be uh, able to classify it into the two uh, classes. Uh, it is not easy to classify from the single line. However, if you see uh, from the nonlinear function, it would be easily classified uh, by using a nonlinear function. So let's take an example of, let's play it with a playground of a TensorFlow, right? Uh, so once you click it over here, this is coming. Uh, so this is the features of a TensorFlow. So there are two input neurons, means there are two input features. Uh, as of now, we'll consider it as a two input features, one hidden neuron and the two output neuron, right? So we have a different data set over here. I, uh, the first data set, if you see the data set, uh, blue one is a one kind and uh, the orange one is of a, another class of a data set so we have a different data set over here uh, so let's take an example of this data set uh, if you'll see over here and when you try to execute the neural network with a one hidden neuron and try to see how the neural network would classify this kind of a data set into a multiple classes so if you closely look it into it and you will find it out that uh, the single line uh, has been created and this single line would be used to classify this data set into the two classes. So the one which comes at the left hand side, the orange one, it would be considered as a one class and the another class. So over here, if you see over here, uh, this particular class, uh, it has misclassified the orange one into this one. So this is also a misclassification case. So in this scenario in neural network, you will increase the number of a hidden neuron and then again see how uh, my neural network works. So if you see uh, by increasing a number of a neuron, uh, my uh, classification, uh, if you see now the two straight line is, uh, required to classify my whole data set into two classes. Previously, the single line would be used, but over here, now the one which is uh, under the yellow area or orange area, it would be considered into the one class and the one comes into the blue, comes under the uh, blue class data set. If you see it closely over here in the blue data set itself, there is some misclassification and some orange dots are also behave over here. So let's try it for uh, another, uh, you wherein you will try to increase the number of a neuron and then see how my neural network tries try to classify. See here, wow. Over here, if you see that this particular non-linear, my, uh, if I'll increase the uh, neuron, hidden neuron by three, it has classified very clearly that outside this region, my all data set corresponds to the orange dot and the un within this particular blue area, all the data set corresponds to the blue data set. So this is how uh, you would be able to classify it. And this is not a case of a overfitting because most of the people think from the machine learning background, this is an overfitting. This is a this is why the neural network works and how the neural network works. The neural network works with an activation function, which makes your uh, classification line as a nonlinear line, and then try to classify your data set into the two multiple uh, or two classes or a multiple classes. Uh, so uh, this is why that's the reason why we are using uh, the neural network when the data are, are nonlinear in nature.
right? And uh, why the neural networks would be used? The neural network would be used uh, in a situation where the data is a high dimensional, like right? we have an images, text, sound, and videos, right? So for in that particular scenario, when you need to uh, classify the image or when you need to caption the uh, videos or if you need to analyze the text in that scenario, the neural network works much better than the machine learning or the only the neural network can work. Uh, another application for neural network would be when the target variables are more than one. So you have seen in the machine learning that the target variable in a classification problem is zero, one, yes, no, good, and bad, right? However, uh, if you are having a multiple output, for an example, for a text generation in a chatbot, when you say hi, or the chatbot will uh, generate the text as a hi, how are you? So the target variables or the target set is a multiple sequence of a data, right? the sequence of a target so in that such scenarios also we need to use the uh, neural network so over here this is a text generation one of the application time series problem like a share trading or the sequence of a text also like if you generate a text how are you so how is depends on the r right or r depends on the how so first how comes then only you will come to know that my next word would be r so if you are generating a text so how uh, you would also be considered it as a time series problem because uh, at time t0 uh, it would be how and because the how had come so uh, at time t1 it would be r and uh, if the how are the time t2 it would be u right so uh, if you change the context uh, like r comes before u and all then the, it would be a grammatical mistake so uh, my text would also be considered it as a time series problem and another use case is a uh, pattern recognition problem right so uh, that's it for this and next we will uh, go ahead 